Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I'll be showing you 3 simple steps to greatly increase your FPS and make your game run smoother in Roblox Phantom Forces. Disclaimer, results may vary based on your device specifications. Anyways, let's begin. Step 1 is fairly simple, so open up Phantom Forces and once you get there, go to your settings, go to display, turn off blood splatter, blood particles, ragdolls, bullet holes, muzzle effects, particle sparks, Roblox particles, first person bullet casings, day and night cycle, global shadows, Roblox shaders, third person camo skins, and lobby weapon models. After that, go to your advanced and turn your high five 3p animation time to one millisecond, low fi to one millisecond, max blood process time to one millisecond, and max blood parts all the way down to zero. Now once you have done all of that, go on your keyboard and press ESC, go to settings, and turn your graphics mode to manual, and turn your graphics quality to level 9. The reason why I didn't turn my graphics level to level 1 is because if you do that, it will drastically decrease your view distance. And I've found that the best balance between view distance and performance is graphics level 9, because of that it preserves your view distance, but it deletes all shadows. I am not going to go in depth on step 2 because there are numerous tutorials on how to set up FPS on Locker. I will link a trusted tutorial in the description below along with the download link and you guys can figure it out yourselves. Don't worry, it's not too difficult. Just one thing to keep in mind, you either want to cap your FPS on unlimited or the same as your display refresh rate. Okay, the last step is to delete your Roblox textures, and apparently, Roblox patched the method that I use, and since I am unfamiliar with the new method, I will be linking the tutorial in the description below as I explain it way better than I do. But the purpose of deleting textures is to decrease the amount of details your PC has to render. Again, as I said in the beginning of the video, the results depend on the specification of your device. If these steps did not help you at all, then it's probably time to get a new device. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.